I have a little short introduction. So the introduction is um, about ourselves. UNITAR is the agency within UN working on training and research, headquartered in uh, Geneva. And 15 years ago, uh, UNITAR decided to have local hubs. Those hubs are called CIFALs. CIFAL is a French abbreviation. It's Centre International de Formation pour des Autorités Locales. So International Training Centers for Local Authorities. Uh, in between, we call them uh, CIF, uh, International Training Centers for uh, uh, local authorities and leaders, so the L became leaders. The idea is to have training centers. We have 18 of them worldwide. One of them is based in Antwerp, Flanders, Belgium. And since five years, we are working within the context of uh, the Flemish-Belgian context on the SDGs based upon uh, the CIFAL Center, where I'm director of. Um, I think that's the most important thing uh, as introduction. You can find more information on uh, our website. All those CFALs, so what is the specific role of the CFALs? That is giving trainings on UN texts. We are not academic people. We are not uh, higher educational institutions. We are training centers on UN texts. That's very important. Uh, we, as CIFAL Flanders, chose to work on three major topics, human rights and businesses, um, uh, the idea of the new urban uh, agenda that is the future of our cities, and thirdly, the Agenda 2030 for Sustainable Development. Uh, other CIFALs are working on other topics, and we try to have also sort of peer-to-peer -peer learnings through the network internationally. So that was the short introduction. So now I have four blocks um, of more or less 10 minutes. The first one is the key question, of course, of today. And I have only one slide. That is, what is this Agenda 2030 for Sustainable Development? Well, let's look at the cover. Um, on the cover, you see uh, three elements. You have a title, you have a logo, and you have also United Nations. So this is already the summary of this new text, this new agenda. It is an initiative of the United Nations. Uh, it is about sustainable development towards the year 2030. And, very important, it's about transforming our world. This is a very ambitious title for a cover of a UN report. Transforming our world. And in between you see the logo. And nowadays the logo is also available as PIN, so this is not about the LGTB movement, because sometimes people ask me on the train, are you a member of an LGTB movement? No, this is about the Sustainable Development Goals. Um, so this is the cover. When we look at the text, I brought the text with me. Um, in the English version, it's a text of 35 pages. In the Dutch version, 40 pages. This is a text that everybody can read. It's not a very technical text. If you have some skills, uh, you can read this text and you can understand this text. I can prove you there are some other UN texts that are more difficult, more technical. So everybody can read this text and can understand this text. This text is a resolution. That means it's a non-binding, legally non-binding text. It's not a treaty. When the UN decides on a treaty, it's a legally binding document. This is a non-legally binding document. That means it's an engagement. It's more like a charter, like uh, a text to motivate people. It's not because it's not legally binding that it's worthless from an international law perspective. Maybe even on the contrary. <laughs> because this text was approved by all 193 member states. 
maybe you have followed the process towards the Paris Agreement in December 2015, what is a binding document that took a period from 92 to 2015 to have a decision on this Paris Agreement. It started in 92, the discussions on a binding treaty. So that means this text more or less took less than three years to set goals where our Prime Minister in Belgium said when he was there to sign this uh, text in September 2015, so just three years ago, this text I could not have an agreement on on Belgian level. This is too ambitious in the goals that are set in this text. So that means this text is rather, and it's also set in the text, historical. All 193 member states of UN subscribe this text and are asked to work with this text. What is said in this text, the first paragraph says, this agenda is a plan of action for people, planet and prosperity. It also seeks to strengthen universal peace and larger freedom. All countries and all stakeholders acting in collaborative partnership will implement this plan. That's the start of the text. So it's not only a political text, a text towards our nation states. This is a text that can be used by all stakeholders in society. Higher education institutions, trade unions, NGOs, companies, small and big, multinationals, etc. And also all levels of political authorities, cities, municipalities, provinces, like in Belgium also our regional entities like Flanders, the Walloon region, Brussels region, all political authorities are asked to look at this text and to see in which way they can participate in helping achieving those goals. So this is like a moral compass for the future. It's a guidance for political leaders and for all leaders in society, whether you are in the non-profit or the profit. And that's new. What also is new is that this text combines the three pillars of the work of the United Nations. It's the first time that, at the one hand, our tradition of human rights, we are celebrating now in October, the 17th anniversary of what? The 17th anniversary of what at the UN? The Universal Declaration for Human Rights, huh? 17th anniversary, signed in uh, 48. So this text is combining this tradition of human rights with a tradition of peace and security. The UN was created after the Second World War. And the newest one, the newest baby, sustainable development. Started in 87 with the Brundtland Report, the first report of UN on a global level to say sustainable development needs to be in the core of the work of the United Nations. And so that means that the youngest one of the three pillars is now taking the lead is putting in front of the, the cover. It's about sustainable development. And this text is combining the idea of sustainable development with the link towards peace and the link towards human rights. So therefore, this text is of immense importance within the UN and for the world. 